Welcome, my name is Eric. I'm the developer of VZ Score, and today I want to show you the benefits of becoming a partner course. So first, let me start with some of the basic functionality of the app itself. It is available in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. So what I'm showing you here is the, the app that once you first start, you start, start around, you'll see a basic scorecard. There's no course selected. And uh, anywhere on the scorecard, you can tap with your finger and something will happen. So if I tap on par for hole number one, I can specify the par and go into the right. I can specify a score. Say I got eight, no breakfast ball today. And then for my partner, uh, let's say you got a five. So you'll see that my partner's G2, that's a default golfer name. I can tap on that with my finger and I can change it. So this is one of a few times that you'll actually use the keypad. And, and I found that it's, uh, at least for me, it's hard to use a keypad when you're out on a course um, or on a cart or it's bobbling wrong, around. So um, I try to make everything these big buttons that you just tap on and what I like to consider fat finger friendly. Um, so for Bob, uh, we'll just keep, keep track of strokes. And so for me, let's say um, I got that eight. Let's find out why I got that eight. Um, not that it makes it easier, but I got a three putted and I got a penalty stroke. Um, across the bottom, you see totals. Um, I can click there and see a running stats as I go through the round. And for Bob, you can see he has a skin on number one there. Um, if I click up on the whole cell, if I made a mistake or I want to add a golfer, maybe I'm playing 10 through 18, I can make adjustments here anytime during the round. So let's now talk about partner courses, what that looks like and, and what what benefits that provides you. Uh, since since I've developed this app about two years ago, I've had over 2 million people um, start this app. That's 2 million using iPhones. I also have it available for Androids. I don't have the, those analytics, uh, but based on the install base, it's probably not as many as 2 million, but it's probably half of that. So again, people are using the app, but and it's very likely that people at your course uh, already use it. So if you look across the top, you'll see the circle there with the arrow. Um, I'm gonna click on that, that's a start round gesture. And uh, let's assume I'm in Deal, New Jersey, hot summer day, and I'm at Hollywood Golf Club. So I'll use the GPS position on the phone um, in accordance with the GPS position of your clubhouse. And uh, so when they start the app, it'll prompt them to It'll ask them if they're playing your course. So in this case, I'll say yes. Another option, um, if you're familiar, especially with COVID now, um, a lot of menus are going to QR code. So it's that printed code. Um, you, you take your camera and you scan it and it'll bring up the menu. You can do the same thing with the app. So you can actually print that out and have that available in a clubhouse next to the pencils, or you can have it on the first tee or wherever. Uh, so that would be another way to make it easy for your golfers. So for uh, Hollywood, um, I'm stuck my T position. So here I have that for each T position, the yardage, a part of the slope and rating. So if you have that, it's great. I can input it. So I'll select white. Um, so you'll see the color change. So this is a theme that Hollywood want to go with. I talked with the general manager. Um, he wanted to have a solution for his members that was COVID compliant. So no paper, no pencils. And it's funny, initially he was concerned about some of the older golfers, but they've actually enjoy using the app. I've got a lot of feedback and you'll see on my website, I have testimonials and uh, you know, a lot of people think it's very easy to use. So I've been very pleasantly surprised with the feedback. Uh, so now once uh, a partner course is loaded, this would be an example of a premium plan member. If I click on that par cell, um, instead of specifying the par because it's already preloaded, you'll see the yardage for the hole based on my tee position and also the handicap. And if you have any tips, uh, tips are available. This would be on a premium plan. If you have hole tips, I can put them here. Um, across the top, you'll see the Hollywood Golf Club. That's a course banner. Uh, again, when, when I work with a course, um, I'll usually take the your website and your scorecard. Hopefully you have some images and, and we'll put together a nice looking image for the, the top there. When I tap on that, uh, I can see my averages for the course. So this is my averages, uh, cumulative averages for this Hollywood. I can see my previous scores for Hollywood and uh, I can see my course info here. So this would inc also include a phone number. So if I click on that, I would call the clubhouse. 
so that would be an example of a, a partner course or premium plan. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is that if I go to wholesale, I don't think I've showed you this yet, um, I can see my history. So this is uh, the golfer's personal history for that hole. Um, and then also notes. So I allow the golfer to put in notes. So now let's talk about how you can actually see what the different plans offer. Uh, so this is again, an example of a premium plan member. Um, if you look across the top to the left, you'll see that what I call a hamburger icon. It's three lines, uh, bun, two buns with a hamburger in the middle. And I'll tap on that. Uh, there are a whole bunch of options I haven't showed you. I'd encourage you to download the app and look at them yourself. Uh, but there's averages. You can see your averages per course. You can see your course hist you know, all your score history. Uh, you can upload a scorecard. Worked with a customer that wanted to upload their uh, for league play into league system, so they can upload the scores to the league system. Also, have a golf coach out in Iowa that uses it to keep track of his golfers. He has a we upload it to a Google Sheet, and so he can keep track of all his uh, all his players and their status throughout the summer. Um, what I want to do now is click on Advanced Settings because uh, this will allow you to put the app in demo mode. So in demo mode, you can actually look at the different plans. And this is a temporal mode, which means that when you close the app, reopen it, it'll go back to normal. So in this mode, I'll show you the different plans. So we looked at a premium plan already. So let's look at the standard and standard plus plan. Then we'll specify number of holes. So this will be similar to what we saw before. With standard, you'll have the T positions and the yardage and, and all that good stuff. Then I have some notes here. So you probably not remember what I told you. So I try to put some notes here and tell you what to look for. Um, also in demo mode, you'll have these little fingerprints here. They'll tell you to click on those holes because there's some little magic going on there. That, and basically, I'm going to show you what the alert messages look like. Uh, so with the standard and standard plus, the theme will just be the basic theme. This is the fairway green. It's a default theme for the app. Um, I also provide additional themes, you know, color. I have a blue theme and a red theme and so on. So you know, whatever the theme that golfer selected, uh, that's, that's how the card would look. So there's no special color, no, no special graphics here. Um, so across the top, it says standard plus plan. Just think of that being your course name. So your course name would show up there. So it works just like we saw before. Um, but let me click on those fingertips on hole number two. So this would, uh, golfer scoring up hole number two. Um, this would be alert message. So this is, is an example. So at my golf course, there's fall memberships available. I always take, try to take advantage of it. Um, again, a lot of times golfers go into clubhouse. They, they don't look at all the, you know, all the specials or, you know, things written down, or there's just a lot of busyness at the, at the counter. Uh, so this would be a way to engage your, your golfers. So maybe you have some specials going on sales. Um, maybe you want to drive some sales into clubhouse. This is how you do it is through these alert messages. And also on hole number eight, when they finish up scoring hole number eight, uh, we could put a turn menu up here. Um, this is, again, an example. Uh, we have some restrictions on size just because the mobile phone is only so big. And there's, you know, I have, um, uh, how would I say this? Um, if, if you want to put together a graphic and put in a, in a app you can I'll, I'll provide dimensions of this graphic so if you have a graphic artist uh, i can tell you what the dimensions are otherwise i'll work with you and try to put, put together a nice looking um, alert message right here again i want to make this look good for the golfers and the course i want i want both to be happy and i don't want a lot of distractions so you'll notice there's not a lot of distractions on the golf card and, and that's on purpose Okay, so let's go up top right again and start a new round here. And let's look at a premium plan example. We already saw that with Hollywood. This is a different example, different colors. Um, again, I have those little fingertip um, icons there that, to help you show you where alert messages are. So I hope you like what you saw. Uh, if you found me through the website, there's contact information. So if you have any questions, uh, you can contact me there. Uh, also, I have the pricing available on the website as well. If you found me through YouTube, I've, in the description, I'll have a link to the website and just click over the website and um, you'll see pricing and contact. I also have some testimonials, a lot of good stuff there to learn about this uh, about this solution. So um, I look forward to uh, talking to you in the future. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for listening.